Yes, peeps, it's Friday night. I've just picked up my first order of the evening. Time is 20 past seven. I am back out on my electric moped. It has been 48 days since I last rode this moped. And I sort of got into the habit of delivering on my e-bike. But I've delivered so much on this bike and I have really, really missed it. And you the audience at home have also missed it so the regular videos back out on the moped are going to be coming thick and fast throughout the month of april may june and july i have re-signed with niu for 2024 as their brand ambassador super happy to announce that and yeah it just feels so good to be back out on this moped the first order i don't know how much is paying to be completely honest but it's a 2.4 mile drop it's a Friday night, I'm feeling good, feeling refreshed. I had a little break away from YouTube and I know that I haven't been uploading as much as I should be. Not that I'm obligated to, but you know what I mean. I am so motivated right now to just create as much content as possible, but also keep it very entertaining for you guys at home watching. All right, let's get some good tunes on and let's get this Friday night shift underway. Just like a fire. Right then, here we are at the first customer's address. Oh, right, let's see if I've still got charge in my light. No, it's dead. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, thank you. Can I get your code please? Uh, Perfect, thank you. Oh, that last one paid eight pound nine pence. All right, now there's another one. Where the hell is that? Whopping, no chance. Deliveroo giving me these crazy orders to go so far away. It's too far, way too far. There's no point taking a job that's gonna take half an hour to complete when you can do multiple jobs in between that time. But yeah, eight pound, nine pence in, what, 20 minutes? Not bad. Let's wait and see how long the next one takes to come in. I'm only gonna be running Deliveroo tonight because I am doing it for research purposes. And you might be thinking, what the hell are you on about London Eats? Well, I wanna do one Friday night just doing Deliveroo, then the next Friday night just doing the, uh, Uber Eats, and then the following Friday night just doing Just Eat. And I know it's not really fair because every week is different, but I just want to see what the demand is like as a rider and seeing what areas are best to work in. Um, I don't have like a favorite area to go and work in. Normally it would be like London Bridge or Waterloo, anything on the south side of the river. I don't really venture to the other side of the river. We're getting a job there picking up from Pizza Hut. That's behind me. But I'm going to take that £5.42. But yeah, I try and stay on the south side of the river because I feel like going over to the other side of the river is just nothing but headache. This delivery is going to Waterloo, so right next to the IMAX. And it's a good drop off location because the customer has to come downstairs and collect their food, which is very good. All right, let's head over to Pizza Hut. We've got a note on there from the restaurant. Please bring your thermal bag into, into the hut when collecting your order. That is what I love to see. Because there is nothing worse than freezing cold pizza. All right, then here we are, Pizza Hut. I'm hoping it's not a large pizza. Uh, it wants to add another one on there. I'll, I'll accept it and see. Pepperoni feast. Small chicken supreme. Yeah, we can do that. £8.36 for a double. All right. 2475 as well. Oh, that's it on you. Oh, this 
Gannon bollocks. And a little trick when you're picking up pizzas, always little, leave a little gap in there so the pizzas don't go super soggy with the buildup of steam inside the bag. All right, my first customer is only three minutes away. Oh, lovely, jubbly. The roads are really quiet tonight. I was expecting it to be like pretty crazy for a Friday night, but it is quiet. I'm hoping it stays this way. I don't even know Uber Eats do a uh, top box. Looks quite good. He's got the uh, Zumo electric moped on hire. Yeah, so Uber Eats are doing like this hire thing. Um, if you're a rider, you can hire a moped and pay weekly. It's quite a good idea. It's got all the insurance and stuff included, which is quite cool. Oh, my customer is around here somewhere. Oh, what's the name? No, nah, wrong one. No worries, mate. I'm so confused then. Hi, Deliveroo. Hiya. Hiya. There you are. Could I get your code, please? 40. Thank you. Cheers. Now let's get over to the next customer. I really should have taken that lift. I'm out of breath already. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, this one's good because this is going up towards Waterloo. And I don't really mind working in that area tonight. Happy days. next drop off but I couldn't park around there because it's all blocked off they're doing some sort of construction here so I've uh, parked up the bike just outside there man look how beautiful this place is hello uh, it's for food yeah call them to come down okay no worries oh is that for there you are Thank you. Have a good day. All right, so that's three deliveries done. 16 pound and 45 pence. Not bad. Look at how many line bikes there are. Whoa. I mean, it is really convenient, but the one thing that I hate about this is right now they're like semi-organized. Like this is okay, but you come back here on a Saturday or a Sunday morning and the bikes are spread all across the pavement. I've got another order come in, picking up from Oaxaca. I know exactly where that is. I think it's paying about four quid. All right, the only issue about picking up from Oaxaca is that I have to go down. Oh, no, no, I'd, I know exactly where to go, actually. Huh, this guy's parked here on a single yellow. Can we park on single yellows? It says up there, no loading Monday to Friday. Yeah. Oh, I actually can. I can park here. Oh, it's busy in here tonight. Hello, six nine oh nine. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> six nine oh nine. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Four miles away. Bloody hell. Didn't even see how much this one was paying. I'm hoping it's more than six pound for four miles. I think it's time to take off these uh, heated grips as well. I don't think I need them anymore. I'm gonna see later on tonight how my hands are feeling, but it is, uh, it's definitely warming up a little bit now. Uh, I can go there, innit? Yeah, look how much room there is. Oh, is there an ambulance coming? What way are they gonna go? What way are they going? What way are they going? 
Alright, I come in this side. Come on, man. Fuck. People, that is the left lane. But no, you want to sit in this lane all the way up here. And the worst thing is, they buy these cars that are like 80 grand and they can't even bloody drive them. <laughs> All right. Here we are. Perfect. Right outside. Hello, good evening. 79. 79. Cheers. There we go. There's a good order. £14.79. It's going absolutely miles away all the way on the other side of the river yeah the time now is quarter to nine not sure what time i'm gonna work till probably about 10 half 10. thank you coming 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 that's one yeah that's me yeah thank you all right, this is definitely going to be the furthest one tonight. 4.2 miles. Yeah, that is some distance. Saying it's going to take me 21 minutes. One minute away from this customer deep in the city of london now next to cannon cannon street road closed oh damn hopefully i can still yeah i'll be able to get through up here nice it's where to park though that's what the issue is should be all right for a couple of minutes until i enter the loading bay is this the loading bay? I'm so confused right now. Oh. Huh. I didn't know if I could walk here or not. I feel like security are going to come out. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, ma'am. Any ticket on the bike? No. All right, I'm definitely out of my zone. What I'm going to do is head over to, I think, Tower Bridge. That's a good shout. Oh, I've really got to put this foot peg back in. For some reason it's not holding there we go there's a new order three pound 80. i've literally just gone past the restaurant so i'm gonna go back up there it's uh lin's which is a chinese restaurant on southwark bridge road oh look at that old ford pickup with american plates on <laughs> don't see that every day wait what What's going on here? Has it changed? Has it changed? Yeah, it has. The Where's the restaurant gone? Okay, this must be it then. Oh yes, this customer has left the code on the uh, notes. That's really good. It's definitely gonna tip over, so I'm gonna fold the bag in on itself. And luckily, it's only three minutes away. Nice and close. Beautiful. That's it. I'll just cross the road. After you. After you. No worries. That's it. No worries. <laughs> well, I come back in Milan. Oh, yeah. I went to Milan, by the way, peeps, for two nights. Real beautiful place. So, so nice. My first time visiting Milan. I've been to Verona before. Uh, but yeah, never been Milan. Food is amazing, architecture, the people, just, yeah, everything was just stunning. And then I went over to the uh, Canary Islands for three nights. Um, that was more like Milan was to do with a project with New and Musama. So it wasn't really like super relaxing. Oh my God, that bike sounds beautiful. 
Um, but yeah, I went to Fort Aventura for three nights. Super, super hot. I'm currently sunburnt underneath this jacket. <laughs> but yeah, I needed it. I felt like I was working too much. And I, um, I don't take time to actually relax and sort of recharge. But I, I do feel recharged now. I've noticed all I need is three days of doing nothing. And I'm so motivated now for the next two, three months. Hello. Uh, this one is for two zero. Alright, time now is 9.30. I'm not going to check my earnings now. Just going to uh, go with the flow. Oh, I can go that way. Nice. Alright, peeps. So I've been waiting outside KFC now. And uh, these restaurants here for a good 15 minutes. And nothing is coming in. Look, a lot of delivery riders are just waiting around. So I'm going to finish up the episode there. Just because I have a special video that I'm filming tomorrow night and I cannot wait to film this one. But from 7, well, half 7 to 10 pm tonight, so two and a half hours, £39.52. That was for a total of six deliveries and I done £1.35 in extra fees. No tips tonight. I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode, people. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. Leave a like on the video and leave your comments down below. If you're interested in buying It's Kicking Off merch, you will find the link down below this video. £20 and it's free shipping and you'll get your order in no time. Thank you for watching, peeps. I'll see you on the next one. Just like a